here is an example we're going to solve by using the clipper circuit so here the input voltage is 5 sine 1000 t input is varying from positive 5 volts to negative 5 volts so peak to peak value is 10 volts always remember draw input waveform and output waveform one under another one i would like to see at least uh, one waveform if you can do two waveforms that would be good so here this is my input voltage which is v input varying from positive 5 volts to negative 5 volts okay so the question here he's asking about draw the input and output waveforms okay that's what we're doing so at one point we have to assume at one point we have to assume this diode is acting like a closed switch because we know that I mean during the negative half cycle current is going to go in the reverse direction right so this is positive and negative let me take this as I of t okay now I'm going to assume step one I'm going to assume um, that diode is acting like a closed switch closed switch it's a practical diode so definitely anode has higher potential than the cathode so i took that as 0.7 volts there now here is my i of t okay now i'm going to apply case um kvl in the loop so apply kvl in the loop if i apply kvl in the loop i'm entering the positive terminal so take that as a voltage drop v in that's a voltage gain basically resistor always consumes energy so you can take this as a voltage uh, gain that's a voltage drop it doesn't matter but when you are entering positive terminal take that on one side entering negative terminal take that as another side okay so we are entering positive terminal take that as positive value entering negative terminal take take that as a negative value so v in plus um uh, so V in minus V naught. So I'm entering the negative terminal right there and entering positive terminal. So plus V in, I mean, this minus belongs belongs there. So V in minus V naught 0.7 equal to zero. So it's the same equation. We have it here. Now I can say V naught equal to V in plus 0.7. Now my I of T is greater than zero. I mean, the current is flowing from um, negative terminal to positive terminal here. So I of T, can I write this as V naught, negative V naught over one kilo ohm is greater than zero. That's what I have, okay. Now V naught is nothing but, I'm going to substitute V in plus 0.7 since that negative, it's going to be negative V in minus negative 0.7 over one K, which is greater than zero. So negative V in must be greater than 0.7. So V in must be less than negative 0.7. So if V in is less than negative 0.7, my output is going to be my output is going to be V naught or V in plus 0.7. So V in is less less than negative 0.7. Negative 0.7 is going to be somewhere here. Okay. So I know what is going on during this half cycle until negative 0.7. Now we'll look into the positive half cycle. So assume that the diode is acting like an open switch. So here is the second part. When we assume diode is acting like open switch, is there any current passing through this? No. So no current is passing through this. So can I say my V in equal to negative V naught. My apology, this is wrong. Um, so here, what's going on, since there is no current passing through this, no current is passing through this, that's zero ampere, zero milliampere. So no voltage drop across one kilo ohm. So V naught must be zero volt. So when it's acting like open switch, it must be zero volt. So when is it going to act like open switch? So it's going to act like open switch when this VD voltage drop across diode must be um, less than must be less than 0.7 volt, isn't it? VD must be 
less than negative uh, 0.7 volts then then it will act like a open switch so here can i say my vd is nothing but v naught minus vn okay v naught equal to zero so zero minus vn so i'm going to substitute it here minus vn must be less than negative 0.7 volt so if i switch that negative to the other side so vn must be greater than negative 0.7 volt then v naught equal to zero volt so here is my second condition so what i'm saying here as long as my vn is greater than negative points on volts my v naught equal to zero volt so here i found what is going on right there okay so i'm going to draw the output waveform so when i draw the output waveform make sure you draw one under another okay so that's a uh, negative point seven volts negative point seven volt it's not bad idea to draw the zero volts too okay that's zero zero negative point seven negative point seven zero so these are all dotted lines okay showing you exactly where is our input is now we can see up to point seven my output is going to be zero so that's what we calculated so as long as v v n that's not the one we are looking for as long as v n is greater than negative 0.7 my output equal to zero so negative 0.7 my output equal to zero so i'm going to use different color here so up to up to negative 0.7 that's my output now after that my output is going to be v n plus 0.7 okay so after that it's going to be something like this now can you guys tell me what is my output our maximum value right there that's zero volts what is the value here so if you look at here that must be like v out equal to v in plus 0.7 volt right so v in here must be negative 5 negative 5 plus 0.7 which will would be negative 4.3 volts so the voltage here must be negative 4.3 volt that is the maximum voltage so that that gives us the clipper circuit so what what are we doing we're clipping the circuit um all the positive cycle we're clipping it at the same time uh, up to we reach negative 0.7 that part is also clipped okay so this is one of the clipper circuit thank you